And now from our studios in downtown Winnipeg, it's time for 107 Live. Well, every December, the Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg puts on a concert featuring all of the winners of that year's Women's Musical Club scholarships. There are six in total, and this afternoon, we get to meet the first winner, pianist Albert Chen. No stranger to Classic 107, he's in the studio here with me to perform on our Yamaha Hybrid Piano. Welcome back, Albert. Nice to see you again. Thank you very much. Although I think this is the first time I get to interview you. Yes. Which is a nice treat. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with a piece of music before we get into our conversation, um, but I wanted you to introduce it. What are we going to hear? I'll be performing the prelude from Shaw's coach's Prelude and Fugue number 24 in D minor. He composed the piece after he was denounced by the Soviet Union, so it's a really tragic and noble piece, and you can really hear it in all the dissonance of the harmonies and the melancholic nature of the theme in both the prelude and the fugue. It's a wonderful introduction. You want to work here at Classic 107? (laughs) (laughs) Does this piece have any meaning to you personally? Why did you pick it? Yeah, for sure, because he really composed it due to the Russian Revolution, and there was a lot of oppression going on. And when I look at what's happening today in the world, for example, Hong Kong and Venezuela, I feel like it really resonates with people nowadays. So I want to bring awareness to this issue. Love that. Okay. Well, with no further ado, I will let you turn around and uh, and get started whenever you're ready.
That was absolutely beautiful, Albert. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. <laughs> now, you're going to perform that at the concert at the end of the month? Yes. People are in for a real treat, let me tell you. All right, so let's start at the beginning, Albert. How did you start playing piano? I began to play the piano when I was in Taiwan at the age of seven. My mom actually got me into it because she wanted me to play duets with my brother who plays the violin. And I didn't take it seriously at first. I kind of just played and sang at the same time. I just really enjoyed myself. So I think that really helped me develop a natural liking to the instrument instead of being forced into it. Yeah, no kidding. Then I moved to Vancouver to study with Ross Albosa. And he was the first teacher to really introduce me to the world of classical music. He taught me about piano technique and really inspired me to become more disciplined with respect to the piano and music in general. Finally, I moved to Winnipeg to study with Dr. David Moroz. And he's a fantastic professor, and he always pushes me to have my own individual interpretation in every piece that I play. So I think overall, I've had a really good experience with music so far. I can really hear that, Albert. You really, it really is your interpretation of the work. It's just gorgeous. Thank you. Um, you have had so much success, uh, not only you know here in the province, but nationally and internationally at competitions. How do you keep it fresh for yourself? How do you stay disciplined? I think the thing with music is that you get to create something new, so it's always going to be fresh, and there are no limits in music. For example, you can play the same piece of music in many different ways by changing the dynamics, articulation, phrasing, verbato. And you have to make all these decisions within the context of the musical style. So I think it's really important to know the background and history of the composer so you understand the intentions and then add your own unique musical voice into the pieces. Do you have a favorite to period of music? Yeah, I would say the Russian composers, mm. the romantics. So I, Rachmaninoff and Shostakovich. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. So tell me, what does winning a scholarship like this uh, mean to you? So you've, uh, uh, you've won what's called just the Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg Scholarship. It's a $2,500 scholarship. What does that mean for you? Oh, I'm extremely grateful to have received the scholarship. And I'm just really glad that I get to pay it back by performing for even more people and share my music with an audience this December. Now, is this something that you want to do for the rest of your life? I'll continue playing the piano for the rest of my life, but I'm planning going to medicine after my undergrad. In oh, music. really? Yeah. Uh, any particular type <laughs> of medicine? I think surgeon is nice. my preference right now. Nice, nice. Well, I understand that um, I was reading an article the other day about how uh, Nowadays, uh, they're having a really hard time finding students that are able to use their hands, that have the dexterity in their fingers. Right. That it, th that didn't uh, that wasn't an issue before, but now uh, just because people just don't fix things anymore, they're not using. You know, it's the phone, the computer. Right. Yeah. Um, so being a pianist, I'm sure, must really help in that sense. Yeah, and also I think. Music and medicine are really both sides of the same coin because mm. they both heal people. Because music heals the mind while medicine heals the body. So I think if I can do both, then I'd be really satisfied. Albert, I love that. Thank really you. love that. Well, thank you for uh, coming and, and performing with us on the hybrid piano. What did you think of the piano? It's really nice. I love it. The yeah. tone is really good and the weight of keys really feels like a real piano. Love that. Okay, so um, we've heard that very powerful, you know, dark, tragic piece. We're going to lighten things up a little bit with yeah. a little holiday tune. Yeah, I'll uh, be playing Silent Nights. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. All right, Albert Chen, take it away.
gorgeous, gorgeous. My apologies, I hit the wrong button. We heard a little bit of coral in the back, but it almost added. Oh, yeah. It almost added to the (laughs) ambiance. Albert Chen, thank you so much. It's such a pleasure uh, to meet you on Intermezzo, and I wish you the best of luck in all your future endeavors, and we'll see you at the concert at the end of December. Thank you very much. Uh, If you're interested in attending the concert, uh, that happens, where are my dates here? December 29th. December 29th. Thank you very much. December 29th at the Winnipeg Art Gallery. Tickets can be purchased online through Eventbrite at McNally Robinson Booksellers as well in Grand Park, or you can also buy the tickets at the door. And uh, it's a great concert. These are the artists of tomorrow, and the talent that this city has is incredible. My thanks to the Women's Musical Club of Winnipeg for providing these scholarships and for treating uh, Winnipeggers to a concert of this kind of caliber. From our studios in downtown Winnipeg, you've been listening to 107 Live, Classic 107's Intimate Concert Series, the soundtrack for your life.